Welcome to Prehistoric Kingdom Spain, the Scrubland Park. This is the oldest of the parks and it actually has three separate dinosaur sections. Well, not separate, it's a loop, but with three different somewhat themed. I mean, the species are themed. Over here, yeah, we also have a Tarbosaurus statue in the middle. But over here, we also have a bathroom. Over here is the Argentinosaurus, which isn't part of any of the themed areas. And this could be used actually for any scrubland biome herbivore in the future as well. That doesn't fit any of the other sections. Is this? As the three dinosaur sections are Europe, North America, and Asia. But specifically, the, currently the North America, currently the Asian section is Mongolia. And the North American section is just themed after the Morris information. This big exhibit is home to two Parasitherium species. Um, as well as a the Sinotherium. Well these dinosaurs I mean these mammals extinct mammals that are related to rhinos, well one of them is a rhino, aren't from the same exact time. And I guess also, I mean, they're both from Asia, but they're not from the same exact time period, exactly. But they still make a good mix exhibit, because they're related, because they're somewhat related species. But they feed different, they eat different foods. This exhibit houses Smilodon Fatalis. This one house is populator. And this one is the American line. Oh yes. We have an we have a little ice cake area. As well as a bathroom. Bathroom over here, I guess, as well. There's one of the American lines, I know this is a big exhibit. Pretty. The American lions are pretty. They have pretty kibby. This is a pretty kibby. Yeah, I think that's a female. They don't really have manes. Like the other lion, like actually. 
time. They do, the males do have a little, like, mane kind of things, but not actually manes. I think, like... There's one of the Smilos. Populator. That's a populator. The other one is Fatalis. That's just a mammal themed area. Obviously that area will be eventually expanded. Anyways, we have the loot. After the Argentinosaurus, like the bet, you can go to the dinosaur loot. If you go here, you go to the desert, then Morrison, and then you can then North America, but we're gonna, I mean, not then North America, and then Europe. But first, we're gonna go through the European section, which has a gift shop outside of it. If you didn't know, we're actually touring, this park is made by the PK company. If you, you, know, if you don't know who they are, they're, um, one of our friendly rivals, I guess. I guess. And unlike, unlike us, they actually do focus on little mini exhibits for their tiny creatures. This exhibit, like how last month had the Minecraft exhibit, this one's for the Archaeopteryx, a bird-like dinosaur type creature. They're cool. Quite interesting. Little feather dinosaurs. Yeah, um, Jurassic Europe. Well, the two dinosaurs in this big exhibit. Which includes a natural lake. Lakeside area. Well, this was here before the park, I. This features Skeletosaurus as well as a Guandon. There's Skeleto and there's an Iguanodon. Honestly, I like this exhibit. It's quite interesting. Like, imagine being a guest and just a guest walking alongside him. On the other side is one of the two Torbosaurus species. This is the European species, the American species is also in this park. Yeah, there's T. in here. They also have a little natural lake. Also, the Aguandron herd and. Um, Skeletosaurus herds are both very, um, they have different, they have a bunch of the different variations and they're, and that have variants and that in it. I'm not going to try to find every variant, but they're just so you know that there is a bunch of variants. Also, this exhibit right here is 
where it transitions to the North American section. But if you go straight, you de it deads in into the open fields. But, in this you can get a view of the Iguanodon and the Gubbin next door. What to the Gubbin next door? is the Morris Information Herbivore set. Also, you cannot view of it yet. Housing Brachiosaurus, Dryosaurus, and like three species of the Camarasaurus. Um, don't know exactly why that guy's there, but we're gonna ignore him. Um, do I have to save him? Or her? Let me save her. I feel you can't her. get a much more classic dinosaur than Brachiosaurus. This she is the iconic high-browsing sauropod, feeding on yeah, nutritious got, leaves we got to brought these fire beautiful fire creatures can eat around 400 them. kilograms per day. So I better go check to see if they are... If not... Yes, Nigel Mar Marvin, we know you. The, um, you're one of our... Main people. Okay, I think you might be the CEO of the PK company. He's actually a nice guy. He's, he's chill. Thank you. Thank you for actually helping me get the Brachiosaurus from there. Using your night, your powers of night being Nigel. Yes, there's one of our Brachies. There's, of course, you can see also the Dryosaurus. There's also. One of the Camarasaurs. Honestly, I like how they can rear up on the hind legs to eat in the night. Honestly, the little dry sources are also a nice addition. I mean, they aren't that small. They aren't the smallest dinosaur. I mean, I mean they're the smallest dinosaur I think in this park. Hello. No, they're one of the smallest dinosaurs in this park, so the smallest dinosaurs are definitely in this exhibit. They're in an exhibit with a bunch of sauropods. Which are obviously all larger, so I'm like... There's... The Bracky... Oh, what's it called? Sauropod staple, which I mean... The other dinosaurs, the other... Little guys staying there as well, but there's the little over here is actually one of their predators, at least one of the predators of the Morrison Bay, which is what this area is currently themed off of. So I could expand it eventually. Uh, this one has, as you can see, there's Bracky, so. This one has the Torvasaur, which is one of the the Tetanera and Spadrex, the North American one. Not as big as a lake or anything, but they they're definitely chill. And they're fine next to their their other relative. The other, the other torvasaur species. down
easy game. Huh? I think that's a glitch. They are contained. I'm like, they are. I think that's a glitch. Because there is no way they should be able to escape. Okay, yeah, let's get... Well, I mean, this is gonna be included, but... Sorry guys, my drone lost a little bit of connection. I'm Okay, the game is no video of my drone is switching, guys. Okay, and we're back. I think I'm currently in like the Torb Source exhibit or whatever. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about that. My my game, my drone. Which, there's the Torvosaurus. I'm also more so at the Sauropod exhibit more. Yes, these lovely Camarasols. Honestly, I like the size difference between each individual species. So I like how they both feathered and non-feathered dryers. Oh yeah. This is a true lush robot. Anyway, this is the area with room to expand. You can also go back down there. So this is not exactly a loop loop, but we're gonna go in the loop. This is where it goes back to... Eventually... But this is if you wanna go back to that. Where you can go this way on the back path. You can either go straight left and then go into that, or go the other way and go to the other area.
but we're going somewhere else. Also, by the way, any UI type thing to see is actually my drone's UI. So, this is the, t the source of it. And the Mongolian section. I mean, I'm calling it the Mongolian section. It's actually like an. It's actually, I guess it's a, technically a lake. Like, uh, not a lake. It's just. I mean, two of them are like. I guess they all are technically Cretaceous Asian, technically, but they're all from Mongolia specifically. But but On that side, we have the Tyrannosaurus Parasaurus. On the other side, as you, I think you might have saw, we have the Velociraptors.
sorry guys, I'm, I'm, I'm kinda glitched. This is gonna be the most scuffed one of the series. Because this is my mouse is glitching, so. I'm going with this one just because this is the only one that actually recorded properly. Okay, I fixed it.
Anyways, this video is probably going to be longer than it was originally, and it's already longer than it was intended, already intended to be, but... This is the Velociraptor exhibit. There's also an albino in neutral in the hair. These guys have a famous fossil that the next species are next to. The species are housed right next to. Which is. So the, uh, there's the albino guy. Keep witty. Anyways, this is where this next species there how it's next to is the protoceratopsis. These are like pretty much herbivores or small ceratopsians, yeah. They're pretty nice. We use fossils and fighting and then if you go obviously over here go back in circles to the um, sauropod, so 
yeah, I kind of hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry for it being a little scuffed. Um, didn't really want to record the massive park door like a billion times, so. Last recording of them, um, and I'm not gonna edit this one because this is a park tour video, so I really usually edit them. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next park tour. Let's see. Yes, the entrance.